if you want to plot k, your vector value function, vector value function given by the parametric equation here, rt is 2t plus 4i minus t minus 2g. Because this is only two dimension, then you can just use a plot command here. Plot and we have the square bracket 2 times t plus 4 for component i and then you separate by comma. Component j is minus 2 minus 2 become 2 minus 2. Okay, let's say you want to plot uh, t from 0 to 6. So t equal 0 dot dot 6. Close your square bracket. Okay, then close the round bracket. Okay, you put semicolon or no semicolon doesn't matter. So this is a okay, for vector value function. Okay, if you use this notation, plot round bracket square bracket t comma t squared and then t from negative three to three. This is for you to plot two graph simultaneously. Okay, so this is plot two graph simultaneously. In okay, the way the your square bracket appear. If you change the square bracket, um, okay. this will become vector value function. So this will become vector value function. Where the component mean x equal t, y equal t squared. So when you click solve the two equations simultaneously, you will get this split y equal to, uh, this is a y equal to x squared. And you look like something on that one. Okay, and then uh, if you want to do differentiation and integration for your vector, I you call the package with vector calculus. Okay, and then let's say I define the vector by the function R is a bit of, you see this notation as what you see. Okay, for vector is either you want to put sin t i okay, plus cos t j or another another notation, the symbol less than and greater than. So this is k for vector. Okay, and in method the component i they do not as a p e under uh, subscript x. J is E subscript Y and the component K is E subscript Z. This stands for the vector. Okay, again, as I said just now, okay, R column equal. This is only, R is only variable but it's not function of T. If you want to make it become function of T, okay, we already have R is only variable. If you want to make it function of T, then we call okay, another command and apply R to T. So now if you call R1, they will plug in T equal to 1 into that okay, the function of R T. So if the R now is a function of T, then when you DDT, you have to DDT R T. Okay, but uh is R T. If here R is only, okay, this one is R is only expression. Okay, for example, I want to evaluate R when T, um, you see, I restart, I mean, I clear out everything. The memory is fresh. So this is R. As I said, R here is only or variable not function. So if we want to evaluate k, the value of r when t, let's say pi, pi. Yeah? Unsupported type of index pi. Because okay, if you put this notation, okay, mm, you see, okay, suppose. This is not uh this is not function. That's why you R1 it give you synthesis, the wrong answer. Suppose okay, when you put t equal to 1, so you have sin 1 at okay, component i cos 1 at component 
okay, why? That's why it's wrong. So if you want to, okay, if you want to what, no? evaluate the okay, value of function of RT at certain value of 1, so you have to make the R become function, that's why we have to okay, R and apply RT. Okay, but if R is, uh, okay, if R this is uh, not function, if you want to DDT, okay, you can just directly DDT, no, no problem. Differentiation, differentiation is this one. So just DDT. Ah. I mean, okay, expression of variable, you can DDT, you can integrate. Even though this is a uh, vector, you can DDT, you can integrate, but you cannot evaluate that value at certain point. Unless you, I think you use substitute. If you want to evaluate like a function, you cannot. Let's say this is a B. You can take. So B also is not function. If you want to evaluate B, okay, let's say B at and D equal to 1, okay, they give you the, the wrong one, you know. So unless K R here, you make it become a function K of D. Okay, if R okay, if R now you make it become a function of D now we call R1. So it's correct. You plug in a value of t equal to 1 into the function rt. Okay, so if r is a function of rt, when you want to ddt, make sure this is ddt rt. Okay, if you try to put the things, you give you error. If it's function, then make sure you call it as rt. Then now you differentiate correctly. And then if you want to get some magnitude, okay, let's say DDT RT is a uh, is your V density. Then if you want to get magnitude of V, you can just okay, simplify into okay, simplify and then put out the formula to find magnitude of a uh, of a uh, of a vector, which is a square root, okay, component I, which is a okay, component I is actually the V. Okay, this is the first component, so V square bracket 1 squared plus, okay, component J is actually V square bracket 2, and then you square component, uh, each component, so you get this is a 1. Okay, now if we, I make it become vector, so I can easily evaluate V when T equal to 2. Okay, if you want to find acceleration, then you DDT your DT. Cos V is actually, uh, I'll make it become function using the command and apply. Okay, a, if I want to make it as a okay, function, also I'll apply A comma D to A2. Okay, so if you want to do integration, since our A, T, uh, a is a function of D, so make sure A vector D. So you see, you integrate negative sin D, you have a positive cos D at component I, integrate negative cos D, negative sin D. Now, uh, say B1. Okay, B1 here, this is only, uh, B1 is not function. So if you want to make it become function using the command apply, so B1 0, so that when you want to evaluate the B1 at any click point of T, it will be easy to be okay, uh, evaluate it. So same thing. If you want to integrate V1, okay, now V1 is a function of T, so V1 T respect to T. And then R1 is only expression to make it become function, so unapply. So now you can evaluate it easily. So this is show you okay, how to um, do differentiation integration in vector value function. Okay, and then we show same thing. Okay, start. The vector calculus package, okay, and then if my vector value function is sin t i plus cos t j, if I want to okay, let's d d t r cos um, and I save it into the variable d r. So, but d d r here is not function. Okay, my r also not function, so I make it as function. So now if the uh, RT is a function, when you want to DDT, make sure R bracket T. So you want to find some magnitude. Okay. And then you want to find unit tangent vector. 
number is a it is a R prime T where I take same as a variable dr just now. Remember the unit tangent vector is r prime t divided by magnitude r prime t. So the r prime t is actually your ddt ddt r because r here I didn't make as function. If you make function create the same thing, this is a r of something. And then magnitude k of the r, uh, r, t, r prime t. So, so this is your unit tangent vector. And then if you want to make it function using the command and apply. Okay, and if you want to evaluate the tangent vector at the point pi over 2, okay, so that you can evaluate it easily. And then if you want to find unit normal vector, then you have to find t prime t. t prime t I set in the variable dt. Okay, and then find the magnitude of the uh, t prime t. And then you can find the unit normal vector, which is dt is actually a t prime t, then divide by magnitude t prime t. Then I make it as a function and evaluate it. Okay, you can also use okay, another command space curve, okay, especially if you've got 3D. Yeah? If your vector vector function is 3D, then you can see, okay, um, so show you this is, okay, if you see the R, T, and the N all are actually all are actually the circle, and but space curve here wouldn't give you the direction. Uh, if you don't any command, just put the question mark. Okay, just now the space curve. Huh? Then you can look at the try to look at your sample. This one. Cos t sin t t t from zero to four pi. Copy the command. This one cos t in x is equal cos t, y equal sin t, z equal to 2. So when you have only 2d, uh, 
uh, this one space curve, this is under the in the vector calculus package. Is that different? Each package different uh, notation. Okay, if under the big plots, the space curve is actually uh, lowercase. Only two dimensions. This curve must be 3D, this way you know. So okay, for 2D, you can only use it. Okay, if I plot like this, this is two simultaneous graph. Okay. Just now, two dimensions. So if the K2, K, if your vector value function is 2D, you want to plot the graph. So the square bracket, this is component I, this component J, and the interval is inside the square bracket. If, the, if you see here, if you do simultaneous graph, cos T. If the blue one, uh, the red one is a cos T, the red uh, the blue is a sin T. So this is plot two simultaneous graph. So you see the square bracket okay, here. The square, okay, they close the square bracket at these two functions. So this is plot two simultaneous graph. Okay. And to plot the okay, parametric equation, let's say x equal cos t, y equal sin t. So it's here. And if we got three k okay, three dimension, okay, x is cos t, y is sin t, z equal to two you get. Mean the this circle raised up at z equal to two. This is at the position z equal to 2. Okay, if the component k, mean component x same, component j, uh, j is y equal to sin t, component k is t. So this like the k, okay, this graph is what we call her like you have a circular car park you know, okay, from the ground floor. Rotate in circular direction until at the both of the car park there. So this is a okay, uh, the public.